Family members are keeping their search for answers alive four years after the disappearance of a Dayton mother and her son. Four-year-old Zayden McKnight and his 25-year-old mother, Nichelle, vanished in March 2014. Nichelle's body was discovered in the Stillwater River in Harrison Township, but her son has never been found. New at 10, 2 News reporter Kristen Eskow spoke with family members at a vigil held earlier this evening. And Dana, family members say they're not giving up hope. They'll someday find closure in their search for four-year-old Zayden McKnight. They hold a vigil every year to keep awareness about his disappearance alive. It's become an annual tradition. Family members releasing balloons at Triangle Park in honor of four-year-old Zayden McKnight and his 25-year-old mother, Nichelle. The pair vanished in March 2014. We were uh, in the living room laughing and talking, and... Um, then she shortly got a text message, then like a call, and then they just, they just left. That was the last time Michelle Williams saw her daughter and grandson. Michelle's body was found weeks later in the Stillwater River in Harrison Township. Investigators believe Zayden is dead, but his body has never been found. It gets harder and harder. The pain gets deeper and deeper. And just not knowing where Zayden is, you know, it makes it... Uh, more rough. The main suspect, Nichelle's ex boyfriend, Antoine Anderson, shot and killed himself following a police pursuit. Tanisha Harris, who investigators believe helped cover up the crime, was sentenced to three years in prison on charges of tampering with evidence, gross abuse of a corpse, and failure to report a crime. People sharing memories at this vigil believe there's someone who knows where Nichelle's son is. I didn't believe it until they came and told us that they found her body. So that's probably when I believe that he's really gone, but until then, I think that he's still out there. Although it's been four years, family members say they haven't lost hope in their search for answers. Michelle Williams believes, dead or alive, her grandson will someday come home. It's been time, time enough to process, you know, it all. Um, but I'm still hopeful and prayerful that, you know, he comes back to us. And there is a $2,500 reward for any information that helps investigators find Zayden. Anyone with information about the case is asked to call Crime Stoppers. We're live in Dayton. Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.